Hi all, this is uh, Martin Koster. I will have a look today at the new solar image on uh, Docker Hub. Uh, we'll trying it out here with Kitematic, which is installed and running. If we do a search for solar, we'll get a bunch of hits, including the new official solar repository. If we get more information on the Docker Hub page, which tells us uh, what the Docker file is, what solar is, and how to use it and such, so it's good stuff. If we hit create, it will spin up that container. Um, that's fairly quick because I've done this previously, so Docker has cached all the layers, it's good stuff. If we click on settings, we see the container name here is solar, which is using uh, Java 8U66, that's all good stuff. Going back to the home, um, we see Java started, solar is running, we're seeing in the container log the solar logs, that's good, and in the web preview we see the um, solar admin. So that's all looking promising, so let's try loading some data. Hit the exec button, that gives us a shell into the container, and if we there become solar, we see the solar install here. Going to the instructions, we see that we can create a core with this command. And there it is. And we can load some data with this command. This loads various XML files and, and other data, which is good. Uh, going back to Kitematic now, we'll have a look at the admin console, where we see our new core. And if we want to do a query there, well, let's do query for star star, which is everything. We get a bunch of results here, which is all good. And if we want to be more selective, we could do things like do a search for a name field that starts with a company name, execute query, and here we have just those results. So that all works, good stuff. To stop the container, you just hit stop, like that. You want to remove the container, you hover over here and press the button. That was it, fairly straightforward.